welcome back students in our this session and this is your assignment number five of chapter respiratory system now in today's assignment i'm going to teach you about the lung capacity and breathing rate general lung capacity means the volume of air that we breathe in lungs and the total volume of the lungs when fully inflated is about 5 liters in an adult so total volume of the lungs when it is fully filled with air fully inflated at that time the total volume is about 5 liters in an adult now however in quiet breathing when we sleep or at rest position we normally exchange only about 500 centimeter cube or we can say half liters of this volume now during the exercises we can take in and expel an extra 3 liters so you can see here that while we are at the resting position we can take or we can exchange only about 500 centimeter cube or half liters of this volume and during the exercises session we can expel, uh, expel out uh, extra 3 liters of this volume of air now there is a residual volume of 1.5 liters which cannot be expelled no matter how hard you breathe out. Now this residual volume is the volume of air which cannot be expelled out from the lungs. So it will remain there uh, this 1.5 liters of the air volume it will remain there in the lungs and it cannot be expelled out whether we do any kind of exercise work or any kind of muscular activity it remains there now during the normal breathing cycle when in when air is taken in and out the lungs always contain a residual volume of air so that there is sufficient time for oxygen to be absorbed and for the carbon dioxide to be released now during the normal breathing cycle while we breathe normally the when air is taken out and uh, in when the air is taken in and out the lungs always contain a residual volume of air as i told you that there is a residual residual volume of air that remains there in the lungs and it cannot be expelled out whether either we do any kind of exercise work so it is there so that there is sufficient time for oxygen to be absorbed and for the carbon dioxide to be released now at rest you normally inhale and exhale about 16 times per minute now analyze this thing children this is a very important thing that at resting position you normally inhale and exhale about 16 times per minute and during the exercise while doing any kind of exercise the breathing rate may rise to 20 or 30 breaths per minute so you have to learn it then uh, this is the normal rate well when a person breathe it is 16 times per minute and while doing any kind of exercise work the breathing rate they rise to 20 to 30 breaths per minute now the increased rate and depth of breathing during exercise allows more oxygen to dissolve in the blood and supply the active muscles now when we do exercise work the increased rate in the breathing during the exercises it allows more oxygen to dissolve in the blood and from the blood it supplies to the um, other muscles to the active muscles of our body now the extra carbon dioxide which the muscles put into the blood will be removed by the faster deeper breathing now the extra carbon dioxide the which our muscles put in the blood that will be removed by doing the faster and by doing deeper breathing we can remove the, that extra carbon dioxide from our body now it is mainly the extra carbon dioxide in the blood that reaching the brain and which stimulates the increased rate of 
breathing over there now the extra carbon dioxide that is present in our blood it reaches to our brain and there it stimulates stimulate means it raises the activity it raises the levels of nervous activity over there and therefore the, there is an increase in the rate of breathing also so this is about the lung capacity and breathing rate now we see some of the infections now infection of the throat or pharynx is called pharyngitis then infection of voice box or larynx is called laryngitis these are very important so you have to learn it write in your books that you have to learn it then windpipe infection of windpipe or trachea it is called trachitis and the infection of bronchus and bronchioles is called as bronchitis now the infection of the lungs by a particular type of bacterium causes pneumonia now this also underline children that pneumonia is caused by a special kind of bacteria that is known as mycobacterium now the patient becomes breathless during this condition during the condition of pneumonia the patient becomes breathless and because fluid collects in the alveoli and reducing the surface area available for the absorption of oxygen and because of that fluid the surface area for the oxygen absorption becomes reduced so these are few infections of our body now we see some of the uh, diseases some of the respiratory diseases some of the common lung diseases are here first is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or we can say it copd now it is a lung condition defined by an inability to exhale normally which causes difficulty in breathing it is a lung disease and in this disease the person cannot able to breathe normally and the he or she may suffer with a kind of a problem he or she may suffer with a kind of a breathing difficulty they cannot breathe normally and they cannot breathe or inhale or exhale out the air normally now second type of lung disease is chronic bronchitis a form of copd characterized by a chronic productive cough in this disease there is a very chronic cough and very chronic a uh, very painful cough and this is also one of the kind of a lung disease then third is asthma the airways are persistently inflamed causing shortness of breath the person who is suffer with this kind of disease he has a uh, he or she has a kind of a breathing problem he has, they may suffer with the shortness of breath now allergies infections or pollution can trigger asthma symptoms now these are few uh, problems because of which this asthma symptoms arises and they are allergies infections or pollution now the fourth one is emphysema it is a kind of a lung damage which allows air to be trapped in the lungs and there is difficulty in blowing air out now in this kind of lung disease there is a damage of lungs and because of this the air it is trapped in the lungs and it cannot be blown out from the lungs and it is due to smoking of cigarette this disease basically arises because of the smoking of cigarette now the fifth one is acute bronchitis it is a sudden infection of the airways usually caused by virus so this acute bronchitis is caused by the virus now the next kind of lung disease is cystic fibrosis a genetic condition causing poor clearance of mucus from the bronchi now in this kind of disease there is a poor clearance of mucus the mucus does not clear from the bronchi and because of it this disease occurs the accumulated mucus result in repeated lung infection and when this mucus get accumulated 
there in the lungs because of this the lungs uh, catches the infection now the other kind of lung diseases pneumonia an infection of the alveoli caused usually by the bacteria so this is another kind of infection which is caused by the bacterial it is a bacterial infection of alveoli now the next is tuberculosis a slowly progressive pneumonia caused by the bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis now underline this that this tuberculosis bacteria it occurs this problem occurs because of the bacteria known as mycobacterium tuberculosis so you have to learn the name of this bacteria now these are few diseases few lung diseases and you have to learn these diseases and with this we finish our this chapter and stay safe and thank you